Hi, I'm Philip, and in tonight's bedtime story, a little boy called Tyler and his gran go for a picnic in the wood. I wonder what they'll find. Tyler had a wobbly tooth. It wobbled so much that it fell out. So Tyler put it under his pillow for the tooth fairies. But in the morning, when he looked, his tooth was just where he'd left it. And there was no shiny coin. The tooth fairies hadn't been. Tyler wondered whether his new baby sister had scared them away. For someone so small, she made a lot of noise. He tried to talk to his mum about it, but she was busy with the baby. He tried to talk to his dad about it, but he had to rush off to work. So Tyler wrapped his tooth in tissue paper and put it in his pocket. After breakfast, Gran arrived with a trolley full of bits for the new baby and a bug catcher for Tyler. We don't actually catch bugs for you, said Gran. But once you've caught them, you can put them inside and have a good look at them. And guess what? It makes the bugs look bigger than what they really are. Well, Tyler wanted to go on a bug hunt straight away. I know, said Gran. Why don't you and I take a picnic to woods and we'll see lots of bugs there? Gran always had the best ideas. It was shady and green in the woods. Shady and green and rustly and twittery. And Gran and Tyler looked amongst the heaps of leaves and damp twigs. They found smooth conkers and green acorns, a wriggling woodlouse, a millipede with lots of legs and a ladybird with four spots. Then, as they walked on, they came across a little den made of sticks. Let's see our picnic in there, Gran, said Tyler. Well, it's a bit small for me, but it looks the perfect size for you, said Gran. So Tyler ate his sandwich in the den, whilst Gran ate hers sitting on a tree trunk nearby. In the den, Tyler spotted a spider's web just above his head. Now, he couldn't see the spider that had spun it, but tangled in the web's silky threads was the most unusual insect. At first, Tyler thought it was a butterfly. He gently untangled the insect and placed it in his bug catcher. He couldn't believe what he saw. Oh, me! Oh, my! It's a fairy! A real, real proper fairy! cried Tyler. The fairy banged on the walls of the bug catcher. It looked very cross. So Tyler took the lid off and gently placed the fairy on a leaf. Tyler thought the fairy would fly away, but instead it spoke in a tiny fairy voice. Thank you for freeing me from the spider's web. That's okay, whispered Tyler. Now I must do something to help you. What can I do? Squeaked the fairy. Tyler thought for a moment. Um, well, do you know the tooth fairies? He asked. They didn't take my tooth. Tyler took the tissue parcel from his pocket. He unwrapped his tooth and showed it to the fairy. Oh, it's a very nice tooth, said the fairy. Give it to me and I'll see what I can do. The fairy let out a little whistle and a whole crowd of fairies appeared. Together, they picked up the tooth. Goodbye, the fairy chimed. Don't forget to look under your pillow in the morning. By this time, Gran's bottom was a bit achy from sitting on the hard tree trunk. So Tyler and Gran decided to head home. I've just been talking to a fairy, said Tyler. Well, that's nice, said Gran. Later, at bedtime, Tyler snuggled down and hoped that the fairies would visit him. The moment he fell asleep, a crowd of little fairies fluttered in through his bedroom window. They were carrying something shiny. Then it was morning. Tyler looked under his pillow. At first, he couldn't see anything. And then, he spotted something glittering. Mum, Dad, Gwen, look what the two fairies have brought me! Tyler ran into the kitchen with the treasure in his hand. It wasn't a coin, but an acorn of fairy gold. Just like this one. So if you lose a tooth, 
don't forget to put it under your pillow for the fairies, because you never know what they might leave you. Good night, sweet dreams.